Perfect. Okay, cool. All right, so we're going to record. We're going to record this weekend review today, May second, uh, two thousand and twenty. I got the boys here. We're going to do the weekend review on Turf Up Radio, and we're going to go live right now. Welcome to the only radio station of its kind, dedicated to covering the green industry, bringing you the latest in industry news, product, services, and technology, and spotlighting the achievements of industry professionals around the world. Now for Turf Up Radio's Weekend Review, here's your host, Darren Gruner. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning and welcome to Turf Up Radio's Weekend Review. I am your host, Aaron Gruner, and I am live in the Turf Up Radio studios and always sunny. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. You getting sick of me saying that? <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Too bad. It's absolutely beautiful out and it's a beautiful day. It's the day after a very, very, very hot day out by the pool. I got sunburned yesterday, guys. I was actually, you know, I've been complaining for many, many days <laughs> since this all started that my pool was closed. They actually put a chain on the gate here. They actually put the, a chain on the gate at, uh, at my pool and wouldn't let me in. And I'm like, this is a multifamily condo. There's 90 units here. It's all 90 pe- and 90 people don't live here. Because of where we live, we almost, a lot of the people that own these condos where I am live in other parts of the country. So really, on a good day, we're about, I'd say probably 40% filled here. So, and, for, and most of the 90% of that 40% don't even go to the pool. There's like maybe a handful of us that go, maybe six or seven. And the pool's small. I mean, and then they close the pool on us. And you know who closed the pool? The people that don't go to the pool. Oh, you guys can't go. You guys, you guys can't go to the pool because you're going to spread COVID-19. You know what I got to say about that? Bullshit. Anyway, listen, I got some great – I got my boys here. All the, we got a full house today. Actually, we got a full house. Remember, sometimes a four cards, four aces. You can't have five aces, right? So I got four aces right here. Just I just dubbed I just dubbed the four aces here, guys. I got Russell Owens jumped on Earth early. Listen, Hecubus, we're gonna you got listen. If you don't if you ha, don't you gotta you gotta join in. You might if you don't want to talk, you can at least join in and see what's happening behind the scenes. You go to tersorradio.com, go to contact us, and you'll see the morning pump station, the Zoom station right there. You just click on, go right to Zoom. You don't need to download Zoom, which is awesome. You can just click right in, and you can watch what's going on. I want you to see Hecubus. Hecubus, welcome to the show. Welcome to welcome to uh, Weekend Review all the way up there in high – oh, I got to get Eric to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Cascade Mountains with the Christmas lights, nevertheless, here. What's going on, buddy? Oh, you know, just we're just keeping on, keeping on down here in the bunker, just do, living life. I, I, yeah, you're living life, all right. You haven't, you're not sleeping. You're not missing an inch of life. No, not yet. Well, I've been cleaning up from last night's pub game. You know, we had, we did uh, we did cheeseburger uh, air hockey. So you know, I'm still cleaning up all the mustard and mayonnaise and ketchup from the boards and all that stuff. It's, it was a uh, it was chaos. Good though. Oh, good though. Congratulations to Sector Six, by the way. Took home the prize. Woo! Way to go, Sector Six. Way to go. Oh man, I tell you what, you got that show. The show you got going on is great. A lot of a lot of people listening. A lot of people getting some good entertainment. When you're ready to turn the TV off, guys, and when you're ready to turn, put the book down and to, li- and to get some good radio theater, Hecubus Nightcap is the way to go. It's a great way, great show to, to listen to, Hecubus. Thanks a lot for all that great entertainment that you got going on, too. Absolutely. But, uh, so uh, we're going to talk to you more about, about what you did. Okay, I want to find out more about what you did, but I want to – I got Jeff Hesser joined next, and Je- Jeff Hesser's in from uh, the dungeon up in uh, New Jersey. Good morning. And good morning. What's another yeah. word for New Jersey? The armpit. The armpit uh, of the uh, shithole. <laughs> shithole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good morning. Liberal shithole. <laughs> you're you're a bit you were busy yesterday. I mean, you've been busy all week. You know, cast lighting has put together something that really everybody's trying to help out everybody, which is good. It's in the, in these businesses, you know, in cast light, cast isn't isn't just joining in. 
on helping their client. They've been doing this for a long time. As a matter of fact, that's how I met Jeff. Whether maybe not Cast Lighting, but the Boussole of Boys. Yep. You know yep. they you know they owned Aquarius, and that's how I met Jeff. And Jeff taught me how to do lighting, right? That's yeah. how, and that's how you and I became friends back in 1927, right? Something like that. Yeah. 20, 28. Yeah, it like was. Uh, I think it was. God, some. I know it was. Uh... 99 2000 maybe something like that maybe even i think it might have been earlier than that because my daughter had yeah i yeah. started working for aquarius in 97 yeah so it's probably right right after that yeah you were yep. gung-ho and you haven't missed a beat either like you you still feel like excited you know remember you know when you're excited about something when you first start yeah you know and, and then people after a couple of years uh, oh, like eric anything, says man i heard eric say you got to love what you do and like yeah. eric, we, yeah, if you don't love what you do man you're you'll be miserable existence in life i gotta tell you absolutely just, no, the days you, just drag out and, and that doesn't happen for me that's for sure no well you you're exciting you know i hear you're i was talking to your wife yesterday because you know someone's special birthday today by the way shout yes. out happy birthday Danielle's happy birthday to Danielle. today. yep my daughter's yeah, 31 today, so. 31, my we're God. We're going to have a party tonight. We're going to have a social distancing party tonight. We're going to have a couple people in the backyard with a fire. So we went out yesterday and bought some new furniture for the patio, and <laughs> I'm cleaning it. I've been outside cleaning up every night, so i got to hit the lawn today. My lawn's going to look beautiful like yours, uh, Eric, when I'm done today. It's going to have the beautiful lines in it <laughs> with my 21-inch Toro per, nice. um, personal pace. <laughs> Twenty. That nice. thing's 22 years old. No, right. so. well yeah. that's that, that that's cool and you know again you're doing some exciting stuff with cast lighting and we're going to talk more about that if you guys want to get involved find out what's happening with cast or trying to help you be better in business i have some ideas i have some phone calls in to try to help cast lighting along uh with their with their special um uh, presentations for your clients and i'm gonna you know we're gonna try to see if we can help them along certainly you know always the forefront cast lighting and the boussole boys with aquarius have always been on the forefront of of helping people and it's, it, there's no reason to stop now. So they got to look great stuff going on too. But then we get, then we got the boy that doesn't sleep at all. I mean, like we talk about Russ not sleeping right now. Russ sleep, Russ is going to go to sleep. Russell Hecubus is going to go to sleep, but the turf teacher, ah, uh, yeah, he just he, get fired. He get warmed up. <laughs> he's got, this is his fourth show that he, not the fourth only show. This is the fourth show that he's, he's involved with the, with Turf Up Radio. He's got the morning show with, with uh, Eric Jones. And he's got, then he does Keeping Up with the Mr. Jones. Have you been doing Keeping Up with Mr. Jones, by the way? Or we, have you been sending him up there? I don't yeah. even know. You haven't told me, so I, I'm hoping that I got to put him up there. And then, and then he's got the, he's got the, uh, the uh, uh, this one's on me. It's on me, yep. He's going to let you have a beer and listen to him and help. Because you're, you're almost, un, you, you, he kind of wants to tell you that you're unwinding from the melt your brain drive home with Matt Martin, but he, he does the same thing. He'll melt your brain, he'll take you sideways, he'll melt your brain on the other end of, of, the, uh, the, of the lawn business. You're doing the landscape and stuff like that, Eric Jones. Good morning, welcome. Then you got, to, you got the uh, turf, then you got a weekend review. Thanks a lot for joining us. What's up, buddy? Oh, nothing, man. Just hanging in there. Got a good night's sleep, ready to rock and roll, get some stuff done this weekend, and uh prepare for monday the best day of the week man so with all the, the different states starting to relax their their, restri their restrictions you know i think a lot of guys are going to start going back to work if they haven't already so yeah. and what's good a lot of people are starting to say okay this is great you know done with the, the uh uh with the the restrictions and and uh we're, we're ready we're ready just to move and we're going to start hiring people again and we want to see people on our property to take care of stuff so what are you doing for, to prepare for that uh, well, we've, we've been working. Uh, we, we were still allowed to do landscaping and lawn care here uh, in North Carolina. Uh, we're still under Executive Order 121, the stay-at-home orders, except for essential employees. And, you know, wow. thank goodness that, um, you know, green industry was, you know, considered essential. So we've still been doing it. Uh, they are going to lift the restrictions Friday. Uh, this coming week, we'll go into phase one where they're going to start letting uh, certain other businesses reopen. Uh, still not the restaurants or barbershops. That's going to be like phase two. So we're slowly getting in there. Uh, our kids are out for the rest of the year. They did announce that. So, you know, August is when they'll go back. It's, wow. It's one of well, those things. One of those things. We're, yeah, we're looking for some sports. You know, yes. we're looking for me. NASCAR, why can't NASCAR be a sport that we can start watching again? I mean, they're, they're in their own car. I guess, you know, you got the, the pit crew, but 
Well, they they are uh, they are going to do the Coca Cola Six Hundred in North Carolina. So oh, really? That'll be uh, Labor Day, not Labor Day, uh, Memorial Day weekend. Coca Cola Six Hundred always Sunday night, Memorial Day weekend. Well, that's good. Uh, that that uh, that'll get the best review. I mean, uh, you know, probably uh, biggest audience it's ever had, yeah. probably because yeah. it'll be one of the first sports open. NBA even I think I heard that they pushed their season back until this, to start in December already, and they don't even know what that what's happening with the draft. So that's going to be pretty crazy. Does anybody yeah, watch just, the NBA? Does anybody? Well, watch? does anybody watch you know, basketball? You're the only. <laughs> You're the only tall. College. You're the tall. in college, yes. Yeah, I, I love basketball. I watch every basketball yeah. game. So. I like college. I'm not a. I could care less if there was a pro team. I'm not a yeah. basketball fan either. It's weird. You know, my son's big basketball and football. Doesn't like baseball. I like baseball, and I, and I like baseball and football. I like hockey. They're probably those three. But you have to. It's weird how you know who. Not many people like all four sports. All four major league sports. You know, it's, it's interesting. You got to have it, well, that kind of person probably has no nothing better to do with their life. They don't have a hobby. <laughs> All they want to do is look at sports. <laughs> it's like a video gamer. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So, all right, listen, we're gonna we're gonna come back. When we come back, we're gonna have traffic on the turf with Eric Jones. Eric's gonna talk to us about what should be done. What should we be doing to our lawn? And then we got products of the day. And then we got a great, some great conversation. We got to get caught up for this week. A lot of stuff happened. A lot of good things are happening. A lot of good things are going to happen next week too. We'll be right back. Turf Time right now is nine twelve. You're listening to Turf Time Radio's Weekend Review. Your industry, your station. Monday through Friday, four to six p.m. The drive home with Matt the Grass Factor Martin. Tune in Monday through Friday to take your turf management program to the next level. Only on Turf Up Radio, your industry, your station. Hi, Scott from More Madness. Ferris allows you to experience turf care on a whole new level with Soft Ride Stand On Mowers. With their patent pending adjustable operator platform and suspension technology, these premium stand on mowers from Ferris let you work faster, take on more jobs, and finish the day feeling good. Step up to a new level of comfort and productivity with the SRS Stand On Series Mower. Ferris, work hard, feel good. Go to FerrisMowers.com for a dealer near you. You're listening to Turfs Up Radio, the only radio station of its kind dedicated to the green industry. Now you can even ask Alexa to tune you in when you're home. Hey, landscape pros. Are you tired of digging through rocks and roots and breaking shovels in the process? Then it's time you checked out the Geo Ripper 616. It's a landscaper's dream with the Makita 6 Series two cycle engine producing over four horsepower of raw performance. The 616 digs deep in up to 16 inches of the toughest soil. Lighting, landscape, and irrigation contractors already love this improved lightweight trencher with its ability to get in and get out faster, easier, and with less ground disturbance. And you will too. This redesigned Geo Ripper 616 comes with two heavy duty digging chains and a whole mess of helpful extras. To learn more about the Geo Ripper and how it can help you out in the field, visit GeoRipper.com today. In today's ever-changing world, it's harder than ever to keep up with homeowner trends in the industry. There seems to be an app for absolutely everything, and homeowners are flocking to them for easier ways to schedule services and communicate. Lawn Buddy Pro puts you back in the driver's seat of your business and allows you to communicate with your clients via your own company's companion app. You can send clients push notifications, messages, photos, and invoices, all sent directly to their phones from your company. Lawn Buddy is on a mission to help you meet your company's goals. Sign up today at LawnBuddy.com. Time now for Traffic on the Turf, brought to you by Pro Products, helping you navigate your way through weeds, pests, and disease, and loading your trucks with the products and tools you'll need to provide your clients with the healthiest lawns, trees, and shrubs. Now, here's Eric Jones, the turf teacher for today's Traffic on the Turf. Uh, I love that. I freaking love that. That is so cool. Back them skeeters away. Welcome back to Turf Up Radio's Weekend Review. I'm your host, Darren Gruner. I got live here at Russell Owens. I got Jeff Hesser, but 
Right now, I got Eric Jones, a turf teacher. You know, I, I listen to that, that opening, Eric, all the time. We talk about our lawns all the time. And the truth is that we have, we're also taking care of our shrubs or plants too. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people, you know, you, don't, you can't neglect it. People think since you just, since, you planted the shrubs. You did everything you could to get them in the ground. You can just forget about them. No, no, no. They're uh, they're actually you know just an important part of your landscape as your turf grass. If 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 not more important on certain occasions, just depends on how much turf grass you do have. And so you can you can suffer an economic you know situation there where you you can lose several, several dollars if, uh, if your shrubs are infected with a disease or insect or whatever. So, um, you just got to check yeah, it so, out. So what, so, you know, you can have, I've seen homes that have no landscaping at all. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it's just none. They just, people come in, they don't, they don't think about that. They just have, they got a nice big house and there's no foundational plants, nothing. Then you see houses that are loaded with plants. What kind of impact do the plants on your property have on the rest of your lawn and in your your environment on your well, property well for one you know, the curb appeal you know they're saying the landscape can increase you know the property of a house you know by 10 percent at least if not more absolutely uh, with absolutely. The, the beautification and then if you add you know cast lighting to it look how much more that increases it um it's just in it but it's a matter of preference guys you've really got to get to know the client because there there are some clients that just don't care we have clients that just want it mowed, blowed off, and leave. They don't want fertility. They don't want plugging and seeding. All they want is simple mow, spend the least amount of money they can. And those customers are fine too. I mean, that's their way of life. But then you have the customer that spends every waking moment outside. They want the outdoor kitchens. They want the swimming pool. They want a beautiful lawn. They want the trees. They they want it all. Yeah. And you know, but environment, environment is everything. So I'll, mm-hmm. I'll tell you something. I interrupt you real quick for a second now, Jeff. And you guys know you, you guys have been in my apartment, and you were here before that. Were you guys here before the building across the street was built at all? Or well, you I guys were there, It was just under construction. They broke ground on that. Yeah. Just so. bro- just breaking ground. So it was. You, but you can see that parking lot was just an empty parking lot. So when I opened up that door, and I have I live in a condo, so I really have no say on what goes on on the outside, which sucks, you know. But I mean, I, you know, usually some guys, you know, if you live in a condo, you want to in, increase your, that, that feeling, you put some plants or something outside and, you know, whatever, but here you can't do that. So I'm looking outside at a park, an empty parking lot and it looks like crap. You know what I mean? You open it up and it's like, I, I feel like I'm just op- out in the open. The building's done. The building across the street is done. I open up the, the, the door today and I looked, they got the beautiful trees out there. The building's nice. The parking lots, it just, it just, it's just gorgeous. Now I feel like I'm in a resort. Yeah. You know, I feel bad for them. They spend $10,000 a month for rent across the street and they have to look at us. I feel bad. <laughs> but think about that. I mean, you're the environment, how much it plays on you, you know? So if you're, if you're dealing and I, and I'm going to talk to and appeal to these guys that are just that, that want to do landscaping for people, don't the, this client that just wants a mow and blow and doesn't want to take, Maybe he's not your client, right? Maybe right. maybe you pass on him. What do you think, Eric? Well, I mean, I don't mind working for anybody that's willing to pay. <laughs> They're just wanting their yard mode. I mean, we're in and out in 10 minutes and we're gone and we put 50 bucks, you know, in our pocket. That's 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 okay. Um yes, you may want to have a truck that doesn't have your name on it to go and cut <laughs> properties, but uh it's 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 just the way it is. And, you know, if you guys listened when I was talking about the typical residential site, there are customers that just don't want to have anything to do outside. They want extreme low maintenance, somebody to come and mow it, leave it. They're gone five days a week. When they come home on the weekends, they're, you know, they're at their kids' ball games. You know, it's, they just do not care about how their property looks. But then you have the ones on the total opposite that would fire you if you had one patch or one little dandelion come up in their yard <laughs> yeah <That's> right <laughs> it's no kidding crazy yeah, I, me- I remember uh, god like we, we can all tell stories right we can all tell stories about maintenance yeah. i remember getting phone call getting met remember the mess remember the machine that the the answering machine <laughs> that we had oh yeah so, soon soon they're gonna that's gonna be forgotten but so we might as well keep that alive while we can but i remember coming home after a long day's work and i remember from a from a couple of clients i just knew i, I you know you just you know you just know you're going to get complaints 
about you're just gonna it's just gonna bug you darren you got your guys got got grass in my mulch you know today cutting the lawn i'm like oh (laughs) screw you oh come on you know really you know i'm not paying you okay they're not gonna pay me because i got a little bit grass in their mulch yep yeah, I remember but, cutting lawns back in, the, again, when I was first started out, I was, a, I was a foreman on a maintenance crew that did over 55 developments. We'd have like, I don't know, 800 homes. I can't remember how many. Just, I remember walking behind a mower, 48-inch deck mower for miles, like 10, 11 miles, 15 miles a day, right, little tickers. And I had to go around with a clipboard and go around and put all the fires because Mrs. Jones at 137, uh, whatever street would – you know, something happened there and I have a clipboard every, I have to walk around while my guys are out doing their thing and go and find out what the grievances were with these customers. And it was a daunting task because everybody complained <laughs> in these over 55 developments. I would oh, yeah. spend the day just walk around trying to fix people's stuff and put oh, out and, they, and they would bend your ear for a long, long time, waste your day. Uh, it's a shame. I mean, these people have, you think about it, you consider that they don't have anything better it's to do. I mean, it, the guys drove a 48 inch mower into the siding of the house. You know, they came around the corner too hot and went right into the house and ripped the siding off or ran over someone's bushes. And, oh, yeah. um, you know, it's just it never ending. <laughs> but we should be doing to our lawns right now. We're May. We're in May. I mean, now, now your crabgrass is germinated, mm-hmm. probably. You know, now if you missed it, you're too late, you know. Yeah. And, you know, what do you do? What do you do when you miss, when you miss the crabgrass and it starts to pop up? And you're not going to really see it yet. I mean, it's starting to germinate. You may not see it right away, but it's going to, it's going to happen. What do you do? I mean, yeah. It's going to happen. What do you well, do? You just kind of let it go. I mean, you, in August, you can go in and, and blanket, you know, kill it all. You know, a lot of guys do that around here because you're still picking up yards. You know, when you're in the neighborhoods, you're still getting clients. Yeah. Maybe they're ticked off with the guys that didn't mow it last week because it rained. Yeah. It's unbelievable how many people will fire you because you have five days of rain in a row. Yeah. And they're mad because their yard is not the first one you go and cut. Right. And so you're still going to pick up a few clients here and there in May. Well, maybe they didn't get their pre-emergent applications. So, I mean, there's really nothing you can do. I mean, when it comes up, you can spray, you know, go ahead and just spray the whole yard out with Roundup and start fresh. We always tell our clients, I need a full year to make your lawn look good. We can't do yeah. it with one application. Yep. You need to be on the yearly contract one year. It'll start looking to where it needs to look. Yeah, and that's why a lot of my people. friends, they tell me, they're like, Eric, I'm never going to take a yard over unless it's already looking good. We don't want the nasty looking yards. So because I people are them. impatient and they, they, they just don't know what it takes to make that really look beautiful and lush. Yep. I, you know what I learned down here, Eric, uh, palmetto grass here in Florida. I mean, it's resilient. I didn't realize yep. how, how, how resilient it is. I mean, they, you know, they just fixed up the street over here and then they, the guy just came and threw some sod down and I'm like, they're not, we're not even water. They threw it on our property. We're not even watering. The guys are just, they turned the irrigation system off during this construction, but they across the street, since they were driving on our property a lot and it's not, you know, there's still some common ground there. So they were allowed to do that, but they, they went and they put the sod down and I'm like, damn, that's going to die. And I saw it started to get yellow. And I'm like, yeah, there, there it goes. How come, dead. Go down, how come you didn't go down there and water it, Darren? That's, maybe that's something you should have been handling. No, I ain't doing that. <laughs> you crap. saw it happening. What's wrong? I got you. No, I just said, you know what? The hell with it. Let's see what happens. It's not my response. Listen, oh, I, it is what it is. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I watch it. And you know what? It's gotten cooler the last couple of days. It, that lawn is green. And we don't, these guys don't fertilize here. That lawn is green. And it looks good. I'm surprised that palmetto is really doesn't feel good, but it's still it's still green, you know. Mm-hmm. So and down here we only fertilize twice a year. We just put down two applications of fertilizer. You know we don't do you know do four pounds of nitrogen like you do up in the northeast. You know maybe in the, in North Carolina you have some your bluegrass you're gonna do the same thing. You might put down three and a half pounds of nitrogen or more, right? Yeah. Or, or less, teacher. or less. Or less. Six, I think I have six or seven applications. Does that sound right? Well, yeah, yeah you're not, but they're not all fertilization applications. No, no, there's exactly. weed control. They, look, yeah, my guy knows what they're doing, right? Yeah, but they can spoon feed too. By the way, you know, if you get, if, you know, if your if turf, turf grass grows, if it needs, it requires four and a half pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet per year, doesn't mean you have to do it in, in one application. You can spoon feed. You know, you can do a half a pound. We, I, my programs, we did that a lot. 
that it had, depending on the type of the, especially if it's hot out, you want to, you want to put less nitrogen down. So yeah. there's different ways to do it. So I know you guys know how to do this and, uh, but that's good. So now, so we've got to take care. This is a time I think you really need to start taking care. May is a great time, especially if it's raining, it's cool out, uh, fertilize those trees and shrubs. Uh, want, inspect them for insects on a regular basis. Make sure that, you know, do some preventative maintenance and you can, that can all be organic. You, know, you don't have to, you don't have to spray pesticides on, on shrubs necessarily. Organic means that you can do this by swatting some, some, getting some, you know, pulling some, uh, some nests out or, you know, doing some other, you know, preventative maintenance, right, Eric? Now it's yes. mosquito control. Integrated oh. pest management. Yeah, it, it's, control. it's what it is. It's, are you an IPM company? Or are you just fertilizer company? Just, you know what are you? You yeah. got to be an I. You got to be an IPM. We got to be an IPM. All right, listen, we're gonna be back. We got uh, we got some products. We're gonna talk. I want to talk more about cast lighting when we come back about what they're doing because it's really interesting how they're 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 really trying to help those who who want to sell to their pro, to their clients but don't have those expensive software programs. It's interesting how we're kind of going back to. Go back in time a little bit, but but still using those tools that we were able to use. Just to go back, you know, with uh, cast lighting. We'll talk about that and much, much more. Turf time right now is 926. Now that today's traffic has been cleared up, you're free to stay ahead of your competition. Today's traffic on the turf was brought to you by Pro Products. The end of weed, pests, and disease begins here. Protecting the ones we love naturally is our highest purpose. To learn more about how Pro Products can help your landscape and lawn irrigation business, visit ProProducts.com. This is Wayne Bowes, your host of Profits Unlimited. You're listening to Turfs Up Radio. Be sure not to miss a new episode every Monday through Friday between 2 and 4 p.m. You'll hear what it takes to grow and sustain your green industry business. You'll learn to be confident that profit is not a dirty word. That's Profits Unlimited during the Turfs Up Radio podcast blocks Monday through Friday between 2 and 4 p.m. Eastern. And remember, Turfs Up Radio, your industry, your station. Hi, this is Scott with More Madness. Ferris takes care of you so you can take care of your customers. The Ferris line of ride-on spreader sprayers allows you to provide a personalized treatment for each of your clients. With stainless steel frames and granular and liquid application options, Ferris spreader sprayers let you do away with one-size-fits-all applications. Visit ferrismores.com to find a dealer near you and ask for a test ride today. Ferris, work hard, feel good. Hey, Turfs Up Radio fans, do you know what time it is? That's right, it's time for Turfs Up Radio. Now you can catch us streaming live 24-7 with pro talk, pro tips, and pro interviews. Simply visit turfsupradio.com. Hey, Turfs Up Radio fans, keep missing industry events but want to stay up to date on the action? Then simply download the Road Fuel podcast by Turfs Up Radio on your mobile device. You'll hear everything you missed, including great interviews with showgoers and vendors keeping you in the know. That's the Road Fuel podcast by Turfs Up Radio, or simply visit turfsupradio.com forward slash road fuel. Hey, it's Julie with Mower Madness. Red Max wants all their customers using the best equipment. So guess what? They want you to try it free. Just go on over to at Curves Up Radio on Facebook and give our page a like. Then like, comment, and share the cover photo. That's it. You're in. There's a new giveaway each month, but don't miss this one. Who doesn't like free stuff? Head on over to enter today. Hey, Turfs Up Radio fans, this is Rob Starr, your host of the Water Zone Show here on Turfs Up Radio. Be sure not to miss a new episode every Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock. You'll hear my co-host Chris Davey and I speak to pros around the world whose main focus is to keep our planet blue. That's the Water Zone Show every Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern. And remember, Turfs Up Radio, your industry, your station. You own a business and want it to be the best it can be. Of course I do. That means you need to offer the best products available. Sounds great, but how do I find them? The good news is you can rely on the guys at Turf Sub Radio to keep you up to date on all the latest and top products. Good to know. What do you got? Well, here's a product we found that will make your clients happy and your competition envious. Back to Turfs Up Radio's Weekend Review. I'm your host, Eric Gruner. I'm live in the Turfs Up Radio studios. 
Now, now it's time for Rambling On. We're going to be rambling on a little bit with uh, Jeff Hesser. Hey, bud, uh, no. talk to me about what you guys are doing oh. for, for, um, for uh, cast lighting. You're excited about this. It's nonstop yeah, it's, uh, for you. And I'm learning a new skill in, in, in the meantime, which is really good. I'm excited about it. I was telling my wife, I'm like, man, I really got sharp at uh, design with Excel. Listen, we're using Excel, right? A uh, powerful tool. Never kind of done this way before, but our guy, Greg Schrammer, got to give it to him. He's been doing this for years, has been doing designs um, using Excel. He takes a picture, drops it into Excel spreadsheet. Has I mean, there's so many parameters, it's crazy, but you can set your Excel up and then bring in your library of fixtures. Uh, we have done that. We created a library of fixtures for our customers. So without creating that, they can't use the tool. So we create the library, we give it to them, and then we're teaching them how to take Excel drop a photo in of their, their customer's property or their own property or whatever, and then laying the fixtures in and dragging them into size. We can color code them according to their beam angles and lumen outputs. We can put notes on it with a clipboard, with a sticky note, you name it, put a proposal together, put the bid together, do it in pages, and then email the presentation in a PDF to the customer and then do a Zoom presentation for them. So we're taking it to a virtual level and we're allowing them to use what's called poor man's CAD. You don't have to buy it. You can learn these steps. And let me tell you something. I literally, after going over what Greg's video, so Greg did a, a, a tutorial. I went back the other night. I had a uh, market on the easy pass guy's house. I took pictures of his house. I uploaded them onto Excel. I then dropped and dragged our cast lighting fixtures in and I learned how to do this in about, two hours, three hours. Now I'm not great at it, but I would go back and watch Greg's video, I would reference it. Then I'd jump right back over to my screen. I'd do what he told me to do, went back to his video again, and it walked me through all the steps on how to take and layer. And I'm telling you, it's amazing, amazing. So really cool stuff. And I've become a better designer, just not a better designer, just another tool now in my arsenal. How's that? So really cool stuff. We're, we're really proud. We're really proud of you, Jeff Hester. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Hey, listen, no, Smart that's ass. that's great. <laughs> that's great. No, it's true because hey, Jeff, you, you, I don't want to say it. You, you, you know, you struggle because you're you're so hands on. Yep. When it comes to technology, you're a little bit behind. But doesn't mean that you have that you don't want to learn and you do. And that's, what's great. So for you to be able to do that, for me, it's great to hear that you're, that you've really taken the initiative and it shows that these guys that are they're doing the same thing and they're the same type of person you are, they're hands on, they're yeah. working their ass off to be, be better. It shows that you, they can do it too. Uh, and that's what's good. You're, le you're leading crazy. that way. Yeah. Listen, response. So after we've done these Zoom, like uh, you posted out there, my email has been blowing up with guys going, I want to learn more about how to do this. So I'm like, hey, just get. so now we've been scheduling Zoom meetings individually with people who have been interested and we're showing them how to do yeah. this. And then we're giving them our library of fixtures. And um, it's been tremendous. The, the uh, outpouring of um, involvement has been crazy. So I got to tell you, it's really cool. But a lot of people are looking forward to this. I have a call out to some of these other um, software companies. Um, you know, we've talked to many, we talked to Dynascapes, we talked to Vectorworks, to Structure Studios. I have a call. Out. Hopefully they'll get back to me and, um, you know, and, and hopefully we, we can set up some type of program. Eric, you know, these, ex these programs are expensive for just a lighting company that all they do is lighting and irrigation. They don't need a 3D design software and maintain a payment of a hundred and something dollars a month for, for all that's overkill. They, all they need is a, is, is a way that they could show that they could upload their client's pro, uh, house and show what the beam would look like on their house in real time, you know, in re, at night. That would be that would be the best way for for that to happen. So, w what I've done is I've tried to reach out to some of these companies. Maybe they'll maybe they'll make you know a smaller version. You know they have Eric. You know like Structure Studios. They have like th three different levels. They'll have like a Vizterra level. Then they'll have a pool level, and then they'll have a full blown. If you're a landscape architect, you'll have that level, and they'll pay. Maybe they'll make a smaller version for the lighting um, professional. That's all they need. 
like yeah. lighting irrigation, maybe whatever. Yeah, I mean they yeah they do. By the way, uh, Structure Studios, which I liked, if I put irrigation down, built and during the construction view, they have irrigation lay, lay, um, layouts, which is really cool too. Yeah. But maybe they'll have it just for that, and you know, so I've reached out to the company yesterday for you guys, uh, yes. Jeff, to see if we can if we can get them to to work with a lighting company like yours and help you guys, and then they can you know they because those those guys that are lighting professionals may want to start to venture into doing some more stuff like in some 3d work and then they can upgrade and they can start moving into it might just kind of give them a little entry level yeah. you can also i found out with excel you can still you can do beam spreads you can do beam angles like so that's yeah. just another level of learning in that thing so yeah. once you get to fix your place you can go into these symbols and you can make lines going up you can change the beam angles then you can color them i mean don't get me wrong there's a lot more into it and it's going to take someone some time to really get there. But our guy, Greg Schrammer, man, he can do that. He can take a fixture and put it in there and then drag these beams in and make a 12 degree beam spread with these things. And he colors the lines and drags them in. So he can, again, it's not like a white light, but he can do like a Amber light or whatever kind of just giving you the beam angle and where it's going to stretch. That's what, but it's cool. No, yeah. no knowing, knowing the program, I'll tell you this, uh, I'll put it to it easier for you. It's, it's real simple. It's, 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 you're, you're dragging, what you're doing is you drag an image. Uh, Excel allows you to drag an image on the dirt software. So you're actually dragging an image. And then what happens is when you, and if anybody's ever seen a, an image dragged onto Excel, it comes in a box. And then if you open it, if you take one of the corners and you stretch it, that's what you're talking about, making those beam spreads bigger. But you can color them. You can, make, you can group them. You can, add, you can add one image to another and you can group it. It's really cool. Yeah. And, and then you can take those images and you can actually just adhere them to the front of the building. And you group really. them. Yeah, like you said, you group them. And once you group them, they're locked together. And then yeah. you, can, you got your picture yeah. and then the fixtures and you group them together and it's, yeah. and it, it's wild. It's real simple to do. It, 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 it is, you know, there, there is advanced software. Like I was saying, there's advanced. Now sure. that, that this reminds me of, I mean, this is old Excel. This is how we used to get along. Yeah. You know, and it, but it's it's great. It's free. It's, it offers an opportunity for people that want to show where their fixtures are going to be on the property because clients like to say, well, what do you, where are you going to put a light? Well, I'm going to put a light here in front of this column and I want to put a light in front of this tree and I want it to and I want to bring one down on this tree and show the beam spread. So you can at least show that fixture. And, and that's a great way and a good free way for you to help your client envision where your fixtures are going to go. So right. kind of love, I love the, I love the, the initiative and the, and you know, that cast lighting is offering its client. Pretty yep. cool. Well, we'll be right back. We're going to, we're going to talk more about, I got Russell still here. He's staying up for us. So we can't, we can't leave him out completely. Right. And but uh, we got Russell. Got rolling oh, rock. Somebody say my name. What? Yeah, yeah, we gotta, we gotta wake us up. We'll be right, we'll be right back. At Turfs Up Radio, we're giving you an edge on the competition while helping you grow your business. I could use that. Then keep listening in for more exciting product information. Sounds good. At Turfs Up Radio, we've got your back. Hey, this is Julie, your host of Mower Madness. You're listening to Turfs Up Radio, the only radio station dedicated to the green industry. Be sure not to miss a new episode during the Turfs Up Radio podcast block every Monday through Friday between 2 and 4. We'll help you survive the good, the bad, and the ugly in the green industry. That's Mower Madness during the Turfs Up Radio podcast block every Monday through Friday between 2 and 4 Eastern. And remember, Turfs Up Radio, your industry, your station. Scott with More Madness here. Aches and paints are trophies. They're just barriers keeping pros like you from getting the work done. You know better than anyone that this business can be backbreaking, but that's all the more reason to partner with someone who has your back. Ferris is about helping you finish strong and feel good doing it. Ferris commercial grade mowers feature patented suspension technology that allows you to mow faster and get more done while keeping you comfortable so you can feel good tomorrow. Ferris, work hard, feel good. Go to ferrismowers.com for a dealer near you. You're listening to Turfs Up Radio, the only radio station of its kind dedicated to the green industry. Now you can even ask Alexa to tune you in when you're home. 
Hey, Turts Up Radio fans, this is Tim Fondrick with Hardscape Marketer. Are you frustrated or overwhelmed with marketing your business? If you'd like to be a local market leader, create a steady stream of new customers, and spend more time doing the things you love, we can help. We know what it's like to build a landscape business, run crews, and work with customers. If you're ready to grow your business by getting your internet marketing right, download our ultimate internet marketing cheat sheet today at hardscapemarketer.com forward slash cheat sheet. That's hardscapemarketer.com forward slash cheat sheet. Hey, landscape pros, are you tired of digging through rocks and roots and breaking shovels in the process that it's time you checked out the Geo Ripper 616? It's a landscaper's dream with the Makita 6 Series two-cycle engine producing over four horsepower of raw performance. The 616 digs deep in up to 16 inches of the toughest soil. Lighting, landscape, and irrigation contractors already love this improved lightweight trencher with its ability to get in and get out faster, easier, and with less ground disturbance. And you will too. This redesigned Geo Ripper 616 comes with two heavy duty digging chains and a whole mess of helpful extras. To learn more about the Geo Ripper and how it can help you out in the field, visit georipper.com today. Welcome back to Turf Up Radio's Weekend Review. I'm your host, Darren Bruner, and I am live in the Turf Up Radio studios. Well, not really live in the studio. I'm in my house. <laughs> I can't wait to get out. I can't wait to go out and broadcast live from all over the country. My first stop is going to be California, just so you know. I am going to go visit the boys in Cal- Southern California as soon as that state opens up. I'm going to meet up with Robert and Chris from uh, the Water Zone show. I'm going to meet Richard Daigle, finally. We met him before at the IA, but I'm going to go out and I'm going to, I'm going to meet with them, to find out what they're doing at uh, Irrigator Pro uh, Solutions. It's going to be pretty cool. I'm hoping to bring Hesser with me because he says he might want to go out and say hello. I want to meet Jeff. I want to meet Evan, Evan Moffitt of Site One. We want because they want to do some broadcasting live there too. And maybe since we're going to be on the West Coast, maybe. Just maybe we go high, 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 and meet high, high, high in the Cascade Mountains. <laughs> I don't know. We go up and we visit Russell Hecubus Owens and check out that bunker to see if it really exists. <laughs> I think it does. <laughs> Uh, it's here, brother. It's here anytime. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Southern California to Washington, up high, high, high. Eric, help me out with it. Help me out with this again. Do it. Do it for me, will you, Eric? High, high in the Cascade Mountain, <laughs> Washington State, <laughs> deep in my underground bunker. Gandhi, he does it better than I do. <laughs> high but deep. <laughs> <laughs> High and deep. I, I, I love it. So that's, that, would, that would actually be pretty cool. I pl- I'm playing the uh, Lola. This is your song. This is one of your favorite songs at school. Uh, talk to me a little bit about what's going on with your show. Um, what's happening with, with the things that you're doing. I know that, you know, we got a spinoff coming pretty soon with uh, Tracy Rogers because she's been on your show quite a bit and she's been bringing some, a lot of attention. And uh, a lot of people like astrology after all right oh yeah for sure yeah she's she's been she's been on i think it's three three times now she's coming on this coming monday as well she's gonna be back on so so yeah it's it's been it's been fun having her on and she's i mean she's amazing she not only has a lot of knowledge with astrology and life coach and and counseling but also just just worldly knowledge you know everywhere she's traveled and things like that so we've traveled in all the same circles so it's really fun talking with her and uh getting to know more about her on each show it was a good matchup. I see. I knew that you guys would do well together. I'm you got it. You got you. You Danielle also get from her. I got my Danielle present a hundred dollar gift certificate for her to get read. Nice. Oh, that's really cool. astrology. That's what I'm getting Danielle for her birthday today. Oh, she's gonna love it. Yeah, she's gonna love it. By by the way, it's a great birthday gift. It's a great birthday gift. It's exactly because they tell you exactly who you are. They she she'll tell you she'll she'll align this she'll she'll tell you exactly how the stars were aligned when you were born. And how that impacts you. And a lot of you people think that's crazy. But think about it. Just try it out. Just listen to her one time and tell her that she doesn't have you pinned. You know? And then, you know, bring somebody with you and say, is that like you too? And you can compare to see if it's real or not. But it's usually right on. It's really cool. 
and I do that a lot. You guys make fun of me a lot when I talk about astrology. You do bust your chops like on that, but it's good. It <laughs> <But> is. <laughs> at least, at least I got, at least I got Tra- Tracy now uh, in my back pocket. It's pretty cool. But Russell, you also bring some great guests on. You had, and I missed it, and because I, I just, I've been exhausted lately. I, miss, I went to sleep early, early. It would have been, it's really early for me at seven thirty. Um, I missed your show the other day. You had a comedian on. Yeah, on uh, Wednesday, this last Wednesday, I had uh, Amanda Martin Tully. She's a, a comedian from out here in, in the Pacific Northwest. She's out in Portland, Oregon. And she came on the show on Wednesday. And it was funny because we had talked before the show and she said, oh, yeah, you know, a half hour is good for me. You know, we'll, we'll do, you know, 30 minutes. Am I okay? And an hour and a half later, the show was over. <laughs> we had gone the entire time. So it was a blast. She's actually, she's going to be back on uh, this coming Friday. Yeah, this coming Friday, uh, she'll be back on. And then I also have on uh, um, Tuesdays, I have JJ on, JJ Harris from Geo Ripper. But then I oh, also yeah. have uh, Thursday, I have the two bearded guys doing some brew reviews. And then this coming Wednesday, I'm um, going to have a fun show. It's going to be a, uh, for all of you out there who like UFOs and Bigfoot and all that kind of stuff, um, I actually have my parents coming on. They used to be, um, up until recently when they retired, they were uh, investigators for MUFON, the Mutual UFO Network. And so they actually did investigations for UFOs, UFO sightings all over the all over the world, like 50 different countries just last year that they, they did investigations for. So I'm going to have them on talking about some of their different cases that they've followed up on. That's that would, very that, interesting. I like that. You got to let me know when that's on. I want to listen to that, okay? Yeah, I'll remind you. Yeah, it's going to be this coming Wednesday, but I'll, I'll definitely remind you. You'll have to you'll have to remind our audience too. You know, it, it's uh, for for those of you who are on the East Coast, it's eight o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time uh, to listen to Hecubus. Great show, Nightcap. A lot of radio theater, a lot of great interviews, a lot of great great conversation. You got it. You can't miss it. You just can't miss. You don't you listen. We don't listen to radio all the time. I get it. And I tell people all the time. I get it. I don't even listen to it all the time. I can't. It would drive me crazy. But you know, I want to go you check back every once in a while and listen to some of these shows. It's pretty cool. And, uh, and you're uploading onto the, your, to, uh, to the nightcap as well. You have a podcast too, right? Yeah. I'm taking all my episodes and uploading them onto the website. So if you want to catch up on different episodes and things, you can look on there and, and find the catalog. Yeah. You can download the podcast at the podcast, uh, nightcap podcast, you go to Turks up radio, go to, uh, your, your, wherever you find podcasts, it's nightcap, uh, Turks up radio and you'll find that. So, we're excited about all the things to come, and we have some great information happening too. And I can't let you know exactly what's happening now, but the G, you know, I, I did talk to you about the GIE. We are talking uh, about broadcasting live at the GIE, but there's some axillary events. I just, I was able, I just wanted to be able to use that phrase. By the way, there's some axillary events. A good phrase, good one. <laughs> that are happening, and Russell Owens is going to be part of one of those events, and I'm really excited about that. And we're going to try. And, and we got a lot of things happening. So I, I'm excited to start telling you because I, you know, Renee will say to me, Darren, you can't keep secrets. I have one secret still, by the way, that I'm holding from all you guys and even all my closest friends. Nobody knows except for Renee. And I can't wait to share it with you. And it's going to happen probably around the time the GIE event happens. I'm going to be able to expose that. It's pretty cool. It's going to be pretty, you're going to blow your mind. But um, thanks a lot, Eric, uh, uh, Russell. It's nice. It's always nice having you on. Don't, you don't have to go. I just want to. I want to switch. I want to talk a little bit about to. I want to talk to our our listeners about Eric Jones and what he's doing. His show is really cool. Um, you know, the best time to really learn is in the morning, right? You know, first thing in the morning, you get up, and you know, it's a great opportunity for you to when you hit your alarm, you just all you do is you hit your you hit the other finger and you turn on Turf Up Radio because you you'll hear some great information. Eric Jones is up early, early, early in the morning, six, six o'clock to, ten, to, to eight o'clock. And he's teaching you all about life lessons, stuff about, um, you know, the, the landscape architecture. He does bidding and contracting and stuff like that. Eric, talk to us a little bit about that, about what you've been doing covering. Well, the, the past few weeks, we, uh, we started out with uh, specifications and contract management. So we kind of walked through that whole process of understanding a contract, what needs to be on it, why we have it. Um, and the whole process of actually bidding on commercial landscape installation jobs and then the contract process through that. When you go to a pre-bid meeting, they're going to give you a copy of the contract that you're going to be signing. The whole thing, they walk you through it. 
And some people may or may not want to tackle that type of work because uh, when you do work for commercial builders, you're signing their contract. You don't even have a chance really to present them with your contract. Everything is laid out by the building architect, the landscape architect who are working for the owner. They are helping them solicit these bids. The commercial builders are actually bidding on the job themselves. And so they'll have a pre-bid meeting of their subcontractors giving them the information that they need. And then they'll actually collect all of our bids collectively and then submit their final bid you know, to the owners to be selected. Uh, so we talked about that. We talked about that whole process. Then we moved into bidding, estimating. Uh, and then last but not least, um, you know, just last night we finished up on the landscape construction process of, you know, start to finish the job and where we actually fit in as landscape contractors. I mean, we're, we're part of the project a whole lot more than we think, you know, we're not just at the tail end. We're there at the very beginning too, with pre-bid meetings, uh, submitting our bids, and then it's time to start locating plant material for that job. Once we've been awarded, even though the job may only be six months down the road. Because when it's funny, when you start bidding on commercial jobs, these jobs, it might be a year before we even get on site. Yeah. Just because of the, the size of them. So, um, every, but you're right. Every, every, every phase, every sector of, the, of, of a position of a job should be included in the pre bid. It should be included. You know, when I do jobs here, I'm like, I'm talking about we're building an addition on this, on this uh, lady's property. And I brought my fence guy in to talk about the, the actual um, the railing that's going to go on top of the of the structure that's not it hasn't even been built yet, yeah. and he says to me he says to me Darren he says I, this is a year, this has got to be six months to a year out already I said I know but I want to make sure that we we want to let the client know exactly what they can expect and yeah. if you if I don't bring you in until the last and say oh that's a, it's going to be a surprise so you need to be on part of that and and you need to be thinking about as far as landscapers are concerned. These are the type of plants that I'm going to have to install according to the township because they might require it or because of the, of the way uh, the, the, the building's facing northeast or whatever, right? And this is how, whatever it is, right? So, you, I mean, that's, that has a lot to do with it. It's important. Yeah. You don't realize this. And it's good that, that, you, that you're on every morning and you're talking about stuff like that. Yeah. Appreciate it. But, yeah, uh, no, without, without a doubt, yeah. Get yeah, you going. Very expensive if you miss something on the print. I had a oh, buddy yeah. of mine who so. does a lot of big paver work, uh, big, you know, commercial paver work, and he was doing an Avalon project, and he missed the irrigation part of it, completely missed it. So he couldn't figure out how he won the bid. He was way under everybody else. He calls me up in a freaking panic. I missed the irrigation on here. I won the bid, and now I'm going to eat this project. Now, he didn't have a license, so he had to use my license. I had to help him out with that. Then I had to do the complete design, the complete material take off for, and then I went down and helped him install it so he didn't lose his ass on the project. Yeah. So it was like a fifteen thousand dollar, twenty thousand dollar miss, and it only ended up costing him about eight or ten because he didn't have to. I ended up bailing him out on the whole thing, helping yeah. him out. So. Yeah. Um, and where that information was at was in the specifications. It's, oh, it's, he missed it, Eric, completely. And he was like, oh, my God, how did I, how did I skip the irrigation part of it? So there, there probably wasn't an irrigation plan. Nope, they, what, there wasn't. The specification exactly. says landscape contractor to provide irrigation upon completion of installation yep. plant material. And I, so I hopped in with my license number. I went in and I designed it for him. I got all the material takeoff for him. I got it delivered. And then I went down there and helped his guys lay it out. So yep. I saved him $10,000 probably in that which he still lost a little bit, but he didn't really. Yeah. He uh, didn't go his, under. He didn't. Right. Yeah. So I bailed him out. <laughs> Got to read those specs. Got to read the specs. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, that's, what's good. So that's, that's what we're doing here at Turf Radio. We're trying to educate and elevate the industry. Uh, not just great music and not just some, you know, just a couple shows, tips here and there, but we got great shows like Eric Jones's show. And you got, and you also have, you know, you, and Matt, Matt Martin with the turf show. He's a scientist basically. I just talks about turf. You know, if you're a turf guy and you really want to learn about lawn, you know, what, what makes your lawns grow and how you can be better at making the lawn greener. He's a great guy for that as far as science is concerned. And, uh, and Eric can get you going with all the other stuff too. Then we have some fun stuff with Turf Surf Radio. You got Russell Owens again, like we talk about. And always good things during the course of the day. Let me tell you something. 
we have not yet really been able to spread our wings as a radio station because of this COVID-19. The plans that we're making are going to blow your mind. It doesn't matter where you are in the country or in the world, you're going to be able to be connected with all the things green industry. And, and a lot of people say to me, guys, do, do, you, do you have this, do you ever get this pushback? What is, what's the green industry? What do you mean by green industry? You ever get that? And it, it, there, because people are talking, they talk about the green new deal. That's not what we're about. We're not about pushing a green new deal and making, you know, and, and, you know, getting solar power and stuff like that. Sure. If that's makes, you know, that if, we have guys that work on those that type of equipment, then great. But we're about making America beautiful. We're about the guys and gals that, that go out and, and, and maintain, install, and, and just help others enjoy landscape. Yeah. Whether, whatever it is, from the turf up, whether it could be construction, it could be design, it could be roofing, it could be building, anything there, anything that you can visually, you can visualize, you can see is something that we work on. And that's what the green industry is about because it just happens to come from the green. From without the, the landscapers, everything would look like shit. It, tell me, right. without, listen, without landscapers, you, it would be horrendous out there. You just don't get it. M listen, most of these people, you drive by their houses, they got the builder package in and the bushes have overgrown the entire house and you can't see the house anymore and the siding's getting poor. It's unbelievable. Like my brother, we went to do lighting at his house and his house is gorgeous rancher, but the people that owned it before him put all these bushes and they're growing into the brick. I said, Jimmy, before I do one light on this house, you're going to put a chain around that bush and we're going to rip it out. So sure <laughs> enough, we went around, we threw chains around all these big stupid bushes and we ripped all the bushes out. And boy, there was this beautiful brick rancher right there in front. of. He's like, oh my goodness. I'm like, I'm not putting one light in here until you get rid of this crap. And we ripped half the crap out of the front of the house, left the good specimen stuff in and lit it up. And now he's so happy that we did that, but I was not putting a light in until that crap was gone. That's right. That's right. Well, everybody, you know what time it is. That's right. It's time to say goodbye until next week. I want to thank everybody for listening to Turf Up Radio's weekend review for Eric Jones, Jeff Hester, Russell, heck you business, Owen. I'm your host, Darren Gruner, reminding you to stay green. Keep listening to Turf Up Radio, all the great shows that are going on. Don't forget about Mower Madness, the podcast box, all that stuff. Stay green and keep your hands dirty, guys. Talk to you next week. This has been an exclusive presentation of Turf Up Radio's Weekend Review. To hear more about what's happening each week in the green industry, be sure to download the Turf Up Radio 24 7 app or visit turfsupradio.com. And remember to stay green and keep your hands dirty. All right. Perfect. Stop recording. Yeah, that was good. That was stop. good. You're going to stop I, recording? I, no.